All right, shalom, makim, shalom. Hey, y'all, bashmal shai, brak a thumb to my dear brothers, little man and sisters. I praise to y'all, bashmal shai, the bonds to the elder apostles of the great millstone. All right, um, as you brethren know, uh, brethren been doing videos, edification heavy, on these two guys that um, then spilled out a whole new philosophy that hey, none of us brethren really even knew exist. You see how the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shai um, uses somebody scoffing, somebody trying to sound deep. He uses what they do and put the spirit on the, the true prophets to, to start searching out what the hell they talking about. And we figure out that there's, you know, these guys are summoning up demons from Greek mythology and all this other madness. You know what I'm saying? All these different type of demons that go all the way back to um, um, Greek and in, in, in Egypt. But nonetheless, check this video out by the brother uh, Remnant Save 144. Subscribe. The elder brother uh, Yashawamba. The brother did an excellent video on Gnostic gods. You know? Because these guys came out with those new gods, whoever, you know, names like Yabadov and all this madness. But what it did was make me want to look a little bit into what that what is that? Like who who's into this world of what they call Gnosticism? You know, who what is this stuff? You know? So I'm gonna play a little bit of this brother's video, but first let's let's play these clips of these people that's actually into this stuff. Look out look at this bugged out madness. And this has nothing to do with the scriptures. This is all made up. And coming from Greek and other philosophies, man. Egyptian philosophy. Let's play this. Gnostic beliefs are. Oh, snap, my bad. Oh, I'm tripping. My fault. Fascinating. They hold that the God of the Old Testament is the devil, who made an evil and crooked world to torture humanity. Meanwhile, the person who Christians call the devil, who gave mankind the fruit of knowledge to liberate him, and Jesus is just trying to liberate us from the God of the Old Testament, who is the devil. Basically, they swap the Christian devil and God for the other position. The founding truth of Gnosticism is that man is a God who needs to realize his inherent divinity, while that of Christianity is the exact opposite, or that humans are not God and ought to remain humble and submit themselves to God. The Gnostics said they're an association of people who realize this hidden truth or the Gnos, which is Greek for knowledge. By joining the Gnostics, you gain hidden knowledge that others outside did not have. This is why when you debate a communist, they'll say you don't understand Marxism or you need to study Marxism more. Even if you've read thousands of pages on the subject, as I have, since they believe that once you understand its hidden truth, you will immediately convert. Thus, you really can't understand and disagree with good faith. Gnostic beliefs are fascinating. <laughs> they hold the God. You know, like, tell me what, like, it like makes no sense. What, what the hell is that dude even talking about? All right. And when I was looking into it, the people that is into Gnosticism, they separate uh, the Heavenly Father of the Old Testament versus the Heavenly Father of the New Testament. And I say, like, I say it like that on purpose because. That's what they separate. Like as if the Heavenly Father from the Old Te Testament is different from the Heavenly Father from the New Testament. See, the, 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 a bunch of weirdo, bugged out stuff. Look at this guy right here. He's into it. Just look at him. And, 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 and the Heavenly Father is the same. All right, Malachi 3 and 6. The Heavenly Father changeth not. All right, the God of Israel is one. He didn't change because the New Testament came. No, but let's check. Peep this According day. to Gnosticism, the Most High God did not create the world. No, that was the Demiurge. His name is Soklis or Samel, which is actually God of the Blind in Arabic. Child of Sophia. I know I can't take no more of that, but but you see the madness that these dudes then pulled up. All right, you want to see another weirdo? 
The concept of freedom and becoming like God promoted by Lucifer is found in the secret teachings of Jesus contained in this gospel. See, in this gospel, Jesus teaches that heaven is not a place that one goes to after death, but rather a state of being that can be achieved in this life through self-knowledge and reaching a higher consciousness. And heaven can be... And, and, and these guys, you see, the, you, when you hear the way these... these uh, people are talking about Gnosticism. These guys were talking about some hidden knowledge that nobody have. Well, that, that's what they believe. Like you hearing these people talk. It's like some hidden secret knowledge that nobody has. No, what it really, what it really is, is the worship of Satan. That's all it is. Let me play this last one for you. The Gnostics were a group of Christians considered heretical by the early Catholic Church in the 3rd and 4th centuries. The Gnostics and their writings were burned and lost until an archaeological find in 1947. Here is how they said we would attain eternal life. Our universe was created by a twisted evil creature called the Demiurge, who is the god of the Bible. There is pain and suffering in the world because our creator is evil and our universe is a cosmic mistake. Some humans are merely the substance of the Demiurge. Dust they are and to dust they shall return. But some of us have the spark of the supreme God within us who exists in spiritual realms we and our evil creator are locked out of. When we discover our divine spark, we unlock the ability to transcend the pain of this world and move into the purely spiritual realms beyond it. Christ came to earth from the purely spirit. Do you need to hear any more of that? Do you need to hear any more? It's just a bunch of, of vomit. That's why this brother right here did this excellent video. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Let's go right here because this is our job. This is uh, Proverbs 18 and 17. It says, He that is first in his own cause seemeth just, but his neighbor cometh and searcheth him out. Now let's read that in the NLT. It says, The first to speak in court sounds right until the cross examination begins. <laughs> So you you know these guys pulled that they pulled that vomit out of their mouth and and it, it was trying to act like it was just on point it's right they got some secret knowledge and you can't really find what they're talking about you know but then what happened until the cross examination began the spirit of Bashmal Shah put the spirit on his prophets to start searching these dudes. What the hell are they talking about out? And it's a Google away. A freaking Google away. All right. <laughs> like I was like, like, like you heard the, the couple people I played. It just sounded like a bunch of bugged out people that 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 was dabbling in too many books, mixing cultures. In ancient society philosophies from each freaking period of time. Mixing the Greeks with the with the Egyptians and the epic of Gilgamesh with the Olympian gods. <laughs> now this brother, let's click here real quick and I got a little bit more and I'm out. This brother right. he defined and it. That's what these uh, gospels and doctrines are all about. They're all vain babblings, right? Now, the word science is gnosis. See that? Gnosis, Gnosticism. Okay, and they had many beliefs, all right? But one of the main beliefs was that ultimately, uh, Yahweh Shai, all right, didn't come in the flesh, okay? And, 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 you know, I'm not saying that these individuals are teaching that, but that is an aspect of this gospel, which is why the book of John, all right, the the the, uh, the epistles of John, First John, Second John, Third John, were addressing anyone who says that Yahweh Shah coming not in the flesh is an anti-Messiah. These are the types of philosophies and ideologies that started to creep themselves in amongst the church. And, and and you see now an even more deeper understanding is being given to us through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Because when we read the scriptures, um, we're reading the scriptures and we're trying to figure out a part of what we're we're trying to figure out is what was happening two thousand years ago. You know? 
So come to find out that the 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 things that's popping up today in this urban time, it was happening two thousand years ago, and one of the many things was Gnosticism. People introducing Greek gods, people introducing Egyptian philosophy, and trying to marry it with the truth or trying to marry it with the scriptures. It's happening all over again, like this brother was explaining in his video. And he found the word Gnosis in the scriptures. Strong's G 1108. And then the scripture that the brother pulled. Let me see if it'll pop up here. Yep. Uh, 1 Timothy 6 and 20. It says, O Timothy, keep that which is commanded to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. Science. So Gnostic, the word Gnosis means science, uh, knowledge. Science means knowledge. It's all the same. And the brother found it right in the scriptures. And it's, it's when it's being talked about, Paul's warning to stay away from this type of stuff. And them dudes then dabbled into all of that. Let me see if the brother had a little more to say. Okay, and, and and you know I'm not saying that these individuals, Book of John, Third John, were addressing anyone who said the Book of Jude warns us, all right, about these very things, and we'll get into that. But the word is gnosis. Strong's G eleven oh eight. Gnosis. Gnosis. Knowledge signifies general intelligence, understanding. All right, this is not some secret. Mm. You know, you, know <laughs> you got to go to the heavens to get to know. It's general intelligence, man. General. And that's what it means to know, to knowledge. You know? <laughs> what I did was type in Gnosis, Gnosis, however you want to say it. I typed in Gnosis in the Bible. And then it took me to Bible tools. And you see the same Strong's 1108. Now, it tell you how many times this verse... I mean, it tells you how many times the, the Strong's 1108 Gnosis was used in the scriptures. And it says the same thing. It means knowledge. You know? General intelligence, understanding. Exactly what the brother was bringing out. Moral wisdom. That's what the word means. It's a Greek word. So it ain't some deep and hidden nothing. The people try to make it like that. They're trying to, the people that believe in this stuff, they try to make it seem like they just have some 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 super spiritual knowledge that nobody has now check it out <laughs> guess what the word gnosis gnosis however you want to say it guess what else verse that is used in first corinthians chapter 8 verse 1 let's go to that real quick let's go to that <laughs> because that's these dudes problem this is their problem right here 1 Corinthians 8 and 1, it says, Now as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffeth up, but charity edifieth. See? Them dudes is puffed up in their own mind. And when you hear that dude speak, uh, when you hear that dude speak, the former head of Mississippi, he's, he, like, like the brother said, he's like a legend in his own mind. Like, he feel he's undefeated and he's right and, and everybody's wrong and it's weird, but he got demons on us. You didn't tap into Gnosticism. Well, those demons that come with Gnosticism is all up and down in that man's mind, having his way with him. So Gnosis, Gnosis Strong's 1108 is used in 1 Corinthians. And then one of the other things that I've seen that where it's used, which is quite, it's quite crucial because you don't want to do this. What verse was that? Um, uh, let me see. Uh, here we go. First Corinthians 8 and 11. You see right there? First Corinthians 8 and 11. It says, And through thy knowledge, or gnosis, shall the weak brother perish. And when you go to that verse, First Corinthians 8 and 11, it says, And through thy knowledge, and through thy gnosis, shall the weak brother perish from whom Shai died? It says, but when you sin, 
So against the brethren and wound their weak conscience, you sin against Yahweh Shai. And this chapter is talking about eating things offered onto idols, but it's twofold because food, you know, meat is also considered philosophies. You know, so you it's twofold. So you could be giving a wrong spiritual meat to a brother, and you could you could wound his consciousness. You could wound him, break his faith, have him believing in something off. And if you if you wound their wing conscious, you sin against Yahweh Shah. Them dudes, anybody that's following them dudes, um, them dudes gonna get in trouble for that. And you dudes that follow these guys, you just saying you just you were meant to to go left. All right, you were meant to go left. If you don't repent, you're gonna die. You ain't a part of the elect. You know. What else did I have? I seen here. Um, let me see. I typed in. I typed in no nasim, no not nasis. I could barely say the word. Forgive me. Yeah. But look, check this out right here. Where was that? Where was that? Here we go. Right here, man. The highlighted blue part it says what does gnostics believe about the heavenly father no 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 not that one not that one it was another one you know what i'll read that part real quick it says there were multiple gods including transcendence god transcendent god that is supremely good and inferior creator god who made the material world bug just bu a bunch of bugged outness but where that one at, man? Come on. Where you at? Let me see. Uh, uh, where was that one at? It said something about salvation or some shit. How they believe in salvation. Man, I don't I don't I don't, I don't know where it said where it is, man. Let me just refresh it or something. You know what? Let me type in define. Bear with me real quick. Let's see if I can find what I've seen. <laughs> like, this stuff is bugged the fuck out here. You know? What is there? All right, now let, let, let's read this one. It says, What does Gnostics believe? It says, at the core of all versions of Gnosticism is an idea that only through attaining secret knowledge can people find their salvation and overcome the material world. So that's why them guys, them guys, that's why they were trying to say that what they had was just super deep. You know, because like it just said right there, um, only through attaining secret knowledge can people find their salvation and overcome the material world. You know, you have to have this secret knowledge. You got to have it, you know, and they got it. Just a bunch of bugged outness. All right. This is this is a scripture that I'm going to end it off on that. It just reminded me of this is just it right here. This is what happened to that guy. All right. Them dudes. This is Matt. This is Luke chapter 11, verse 24. It says, and when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh. He walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none. He saith, I will return unto my house from whence I came out. So when you come to this truth, um, you cleaned up what was going on with you. When you first come, you got a demon on you, the demon of the world, that old man. Now, when you come to the truth and you're sanctified through the spirit of Yahweh Shema Shai, that demon get took off of you. But that demon doesn't die or perish or just disappear but like it says when the unclean spirit is going out of a man he walketh through dry places seeking rest and findeth none the demon is trying to get back inside of you all right because you're the perfect fit for the demon it ain't grew and been nurtured up with you in this wicked world so when it leave out of you it's trying to search and searching to get back in you to find rest it says he said i will return unto my house from whence i came out he want to return to your house as your body. It says, and when he cometh, and when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. 
And if he able to get back in your house, he see that you didn't cleaned up. You became a new man. You thinking different. It says, then goeth he, that he is the unclean spirit, and take it to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last day of that man is worse than the first. So if they're able to get back into you, you go back into the world, you, you give up on Yahweh Shemel Shai for whatever reason, you become bugged out with that unclean spirit. This time, he makes sure that he ain't going to be able to leave your house. So what he go do? He says, and take it to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. He go get the homies, so to speak. Or you get, get other demons to hold you down. And you become more, your first state, I mean, your, your last state is worse than your first. So now, this guy, his last state is worse than the first. He's more, he's more worse than he, before he even understood the truth. And that's why, that's why, you know what I mean? That's why these dudes, that's why they coming out with narcissism and all this weird philosophies, man. The demons is on them. Eight to seven. Hey, that's all I had there. Hey, y'all about to shot, broke a thumb, mock him step. Shalom, stay in the fear, stay in the order. And may y'all about to have mercy on us all. Y'all about to shot, broke a thumb, mock him step. Shalom.